down some letters with French writing on them. What was that? French writing. Do you know who they are? Why would I? I found them in your bar diary. Oh, those! I translated them. They sound like love letters. What? <laughs> There's a French tape you're listening to, isn't it? Tea and toast. What's going on? Look, I can explain. Please don't listen to your mum. Breakfast. Ah, oh, thank you. Hey, I hope this doesn't mean I've got to buy you flowers. Oh, well, I live in hope. Hi, sir. I thought you'd gone out. Do you, do you want some? No, no, I'm fine. I'll have some. Are you all right? You look a bit peaky. Yeah, I'm fine. Anyway, there's plenty more upstairs if you do want some. Hmm. Why are you hanging around down here? I asked them about those French love letters. Then my mum came in and he snatched them off me. Oh, you're not still on about that, are you? <sighs> you should have seen him panicking. You know what your problem is? You've got too much time on your hands, mate. This is becoming some sort of obsession. Well? Did you panic when my mum came in? I didn't panic! You were desperate for her not to see those letters. All right, Craig. You're right about the tape. I'm learning to speak French. What for? Because I want to impress your mum. Why would it impress her? She doesn't speak French. She's not even interested in France. Women like their men to surprise them. By writing them love letters in French. Craig, you don't understand, son. It's not what you think. I read them. They're definitely love letters. The practice in writing French. Even if they are love letters to my mum, why write them in something she can't understand? They're not for your mum. Who are they for, then? Why isn't my mum's name on them? Like I said, it's only practice. I want to get the hang of the language, you know, writing it and speaking it. And I want to surprise her. Jack, you're in your 50s. Why would you suddenly decide to speak French? Because it's something I've always wanted to do. Like you started jogging or, or going to the gym? Exactly. You're never too old to try something new. Even if you could speak French. What's the point if my mum can't? Who do you know that can? I don't. But I might meet somebody I do. I we might go to Paris for the weekend. Craig, please don't tell her, son. I don't want her to know. Not until I can speak the language properly. You're right, love. Yeah. <sighs> Where's Jack? Jack? Oh, he's going to the bank. You could run this place on your own, eh? No, <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. You've really got into it. Yeah, well, there's not that much to it. I suppose maybe I could at a push. Say, um... <laughs> say... Jack wasn't here. Oh, don't say that. No, no. <laughs> I don't mean it like that. I mean... You've not fallen out with Jack, have you? No, no. No. Look, love, I know the last year and a half has been difficult. You know, there's been lots of upheaval, but... I've told you. You mustn't worry. I'm not. I'm not worried. You know what? I'm happy with Jack. Probably happier than I've ever been. You know, he's a good man and we've got a stable home and... Well, I love him. Oh, hello. Hi, love. Hey, it's quiet. You wouldn't mind if I went for a run, would you, love? No, no, I'm fine. You go ahead. Hi, Craig. Hello. <sighs> Hi, girls. Hey, Mum. Where are you going hey. shopping on Friday? Friday? Shopping. Oh, yeah. Uh, just into town. All right. Where are you going to get? Clothes. I thought I'd spend some of Jack's hard-earned cash on revamping my wardrobe. Are you going, Jack? Shopping. Friday. Uh, thank you. No, no. Shopping's not my favourite pastime, is it, Frankie? Well, it's not all about shopping now, is it? You can make a day of it. Maybe do lunch or uh, go to the cinema. No, yeah, that would be nice, but... Frankie, I'm, I'm really busy, love. <laughs> See, I was thinking that uh, me and Darren could look after the pub that day. Oh, yeah, it's just that Jack's got his VAT to do, haven't you, love? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll probably tip... The VAT can wait. You've got to the end of the month. I know, Craig, but I'd like to get started early. You both need the day off. Well, yes. Craig, that's a very nice offer, but, you know, if Jack's too busy, I really am quite happy to go shopping on my own. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice, though, to spend the day together? Well, maybe another day. What's wrong with Friday? Look, Craig, we really are quite happy as we are, aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. <laughs> Wherever it is, she's French. Oh, where's he going to find a French woman, eh? It must be. I mean, think about it. He's already admitted to learning French. He's trying to say that he's impressing my mum, but my mum doesn't even know French. It's a lie! Look at you. This is an obsession. What? <laughs> it's the truth! 
We know that my mum is going out on Friday. We know that Jack has arranged to meet someone the same day. So? That'd be a good explanation for it then, wouldn't it? Darren, I offered them the day off together. That we would mind the pub. And? And? He wasn't having any of it. And you know how they're always going on about getting time off together, don't you? Well, your mum is going out shopping and my dad's working. You're jumping to conclusions. This is a little fantasy inside your head, isn't it? He's letting us shop for new clothes so that he can have more time with this French woman. Think about it, Darren. He'd be going mad if she was spending his money and he didn't want her out of it. You, you know that. Look, I know my dad the best, okay? And he loves Frankie, so why shouldn't he let her go out and spend money on herself, eh? <sighs> Darren, he's having an affair. You're or, wrong. Or he's about to. You're wrong. <sighs> Just forget it. Am I the only one who can see this? Darren! If we don't do something by Friday, it's going to be too late. 